Our whole thing was kind of turn this thing around, get us back on the right direction. Pretty, unfortunately, we couldn't go to three out of four bowl games, but uh, we went two for four. Two pin strike goal victories. It's definitely the program's definitely heading in the right direction. And, and Coach Marone is the only guy that's job. Uh, every time I think about it, when I was back in high school, they had a bunch of other coaches, applicants coming in. I was like, I, I don't even know who Coach Marone was. And then once he got the job, he was perfect. And I wouldn't rather have any other coach. You can have another bowl game maybe next year if you want. What do you think about yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. We got to go into that ACA. Uh, I'm not going to talk about anything about the NFL, so no one even asked me. But yeah, I'm just trying to celebrate this win now and, and celebrate with my teammates. Ron, you seem like you had a lot of touch on your passes today. Did you have to adjust your passing game for the conditions? Oh, definitely. I mean, when the weather that bad, you can't really do the things that we're doing in the passing game. So we kind of were shortening everything down. We did a lot of swings out there, Vice in the flat, which uh, worked out. It's just all about adjusting. Whatever could adjust. Best is going to come out on top. It took them a little while to adjust, and I think we were able to after the first series, and it worked out well for us. It seemed like your offensive line was opening up some big holes that when Prince had right after the turnover in the third quarter really seemed to make a difference. Oh, I mean, as offensive line, your whole thing is just get on those guys, it'll make us look good. And today, with the weather so bad, if you could just get on, not even really get on, just slow them down and kind of maybe shuffle their feet, our backs are just going to go 100 miles an hour. And they were able to do that, they did a great job. Hats off to them, hats off to the whole offense. It's tough playing on a grass field versus a turf field. It's different. I mean, going from playing at dome to playing at this is polar opposites. And like I said before, whoever the team that was able to adjust to that the quickest is going to have the edge. And once we were able to build that lead in the beginning, we really never looked back in the whole time. And how about our defense, too? I mean, when you have a three touchdown, we were able to do the thing that we were doing on defense. And they got us there, and then we were able to finish the end. You know, Justin, seeing as though this was your last game as a member of the Big East, could you script a better ending to go out there and beat West Virginia the way they did? I know they're not in the Big East anymore, but could you script a better ending to this um, program? No, that, was, um, that was awesome. Just going out there and beating, beating West Virginia. Who didn't really show us much respect out of this whole process. I know um, that was kind of something that we wanted to go out there and prove that the last two years wasn't a fluke, that we were able to go out there and play with anybody. And I think it really makes a statement of us going into the ACC. We can play with some of the best teams in the country. We proved that down the stretch. And uh, looking forward to getting out there and playing some of those teams. Justin, you guys ran for more than 60 times today and compared to them passing around 20, 25 times. Was that part of the game plan? Or was that dictated by the weather? You know, like, how did that come about? It really was dictated by the weather because when we went out there, we thought we were going to have our whole, our whole arsenal. And then once you get out there and realize the weather was really that bad, we had to uh, start running the ball. And we ran it with success. I mean, you were able to keep punching them in the mouth, and we kind of wore them down. And then towards the end, we were able to break some big runs. Um, Tyson Prince Gully, um, Prince Tyson Gully, I'm sorry, ran the ball real hard. Jerome Smith ran the ball great. And I had a couple times when he faked it out. I didn't even know he had it and picked up some good first downs. So uh, it was a great overall effort. Everyone played great. I'm just proud of this team. Coach Holgerson talked about how frustrating it was that you guys kept running the zone block, or the zone read, rather, and they just could not stop it and over and over. Was that part of the game plan, or did you guys keep just keep running it because it was working? I mean, you keep running, you keep going with the hot hand, and it just kept working for us. And I remember going out there, and it was like a fourth down, or second or third and long. We, I, I told you, I'm like, you know, this is what we're doing. And we still did it, picked it up. We were getting a little cocky out there, too. I mean, it was a little, it was a little. you guys can see, it was a little talking going back and forth before the game. Um, but it was all fun. At the end of the game, we were able to shake hands, and that, that's the best thing about football. You can go out there for 60 minutes, punch each other in the mouth, and at the end of the game, shake hands, and it's, and it's all over. Well, Prince Tyson had a tremendous game in the, the two years before this year. He combined for only around 200 yards. He had more than that in just this game alone. Just talk about like his progression uh, while uh, at SU. I think it's just the culture on this team. I think everyone in every room is pushing each other, and the running back room is probably the most competitive. You have three guys that are all vying for uh, time out there, and it's it's just making them, them be that much better, and I think that's great. I think it's a great atmosphere to create because the more competitive it is, the more successful you'll be. What's the feeling like as an O-line when, I mean, you guys dominated the line of scrimmage and it just imposed your will. What was that feeling like out there? Oh, that's the best feeling. And we knew coming into this game that we were going to have to run the ball and to go out there and execute the way we did, uh, it's definitely a great way to end this season, and it definitely is going to help us because we always wanted to be considered the best offensive line in the Big East in the country. And from four years ago to today, I think we can say that we're the best in the Big East, and uh, that's something I'm proud to say, and I think all the other guys would be able to say the same thing. What does it mean to you that over the past four years, you know, where you guys have taken this program to be a part of it? Oh, it's awesome. I mean, I just think about where we started that first year I was here, well, that year before we even got here, that when, I think it was G-Rob was still the coach, and 
it was kind of sad to see where the program was going. I know a lot of alumnus would come and say, look, well, you guys got to do something. And then each year we got better and better. Last year we took a step back, and I think that taught us a very valuable lesson. And this year we were able to close at the end of the year and, uh, and, and on a good note. And, and it's definitely going to help us going into the ACC and, and setting that tone. And Coach Marone, he's the epitome of all that. He's just a, a tough guy, and I, I just love him for it. Is there a fifth year in you in the ACC? Have you thought about that yet? I haven't thought about it at all. I'm not answering any questions about the NFL. I'm just going to enjoy this with my teammates. Awesome. Congratulations. Thanks,